Welcome back. And so this is the continuation. This is part two of our really good conversation on challenge everything. Y'all yes. definitely got to watch that. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we're following this up with a little information on the money calendar and budgeting. Your favorite B word. Yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. Second favorite B word. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I don't know what the one, right. the one is. Okay. <laughs> so these last couple of bills, confession, uh, these last couple of months, excuse me, I've had trouble paying my bills. Because Explain. I felt like it's not that I didn't have the money, but I was just so busy. In your mind, you were too busy. Yeah, to in pay my your mind, bills. and I was okay. just like, "I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll right. do it tomorrow." And right. then all of a sudden, I'm like, "Wait, did they just he sent me an email saying I got a late fee?" <laughs> and it was because, y'all, I just was. I just got so busy. Right. And I don't I don't like auto pays. You know, I mean, the only time I do auto pay is if they're going to give me something right. for it. Right. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. But other than that, I'm going to pay you. You know, so, Brandy, I know you gave me a good, cause some good advice when I had mentioned that. <laughs> Can you share with everybody what your advice was for me? So I told Chris that I have what I call bill pay days, mm-hmm. two days out of the month, and it's payday. Mm-hmm. So instead of paying my bills when they're, On the actual due date, when I get the bill in the mail, I literally only pay bills on my pay date. So some bills, of course, I will have to pay early Mm -hmm. to ensure that I can wait until payday, you know, to pay them. Right. But I have it scheduled out. I pay these five bills, you know, my paycheck around the first of the month and Mm -hmm. I pay these five bills on my paycheck on the 15th. Mm -hmm. And that's how I structure it out to make Mm -hmm. sure that none are missed Mm -hmm. and that I don't have all my payments coming out of one check because yeah, I've right. seen that before too yeah. where all your bills are coming out of this check and now you're broke for two weeks. Yeah, right. exactly. exactly. So it kind of helps to exactly. balance it out. Yeah. yeah. And I, I thought when she said that, I was like, that was such a great idea. And Janai, when she said that, it made me think about something you teach, which is the money calendar. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, you know, we just all live by our calendars. Mm-hmm. You know when to go to the doctor, you know when to get to work, mm-hmm. you know all your personal you know, events and stuff you have to go to, but mm-hmm. like who knows when to pay their bills? Mm-hmm. You know, who knows when to file their tax return? Right. right. You know, when to check your credit? Mm-hmm. You know, if you're in school, when mm-hmm. you should have your financial aid forms mm-hmm. turned in. Mm-hmm. Right. Like you have to have that other sub calendar mm-hmm. so you can keep up with all the things that you need to do that relate to money. Right. right. And some and some of them are like bi-monthly like that paying your bills right. but you know you're gonna file your taxes once a right. year but right. when you gonna start exactly right. Yeah. Right. exactly instead of wait until you know april 14th mm-hmm. then it's due on april 15th <laughs> right like why are people surprised right. you know right and that right there made me think about something that i had saw on social media there was a uh, one of my friends um she had put um on her social media that if it was it was the start of school, okay, and she was like, "If you're broke right now, it just means you're a good parent." And and I understood what she meant that right. meant you were doing what you needed to do for your child, right? But in the same token, I was like, "But school is not a surprise." Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's like, like everybody knows right. when school is going to start, right. right? So really, if right. you're broke right now, right. there's right. another problem. Right. You know what I mean? right. Exactly. Right. You know, it's like you should have started preparing right. for that, right. right? And I don't know. Maybe you can have some type of even strategy, but like you know, use your money calendar or create a money calendar right. to where you can put in your calendar a day that you want to start preparing for school. Right. right. You know, maybe do something um, once a month right. while they're out on summer. Right. Buy the shoes this month. I don't know, whatever. Right. But, you know, there's the calendar would definitely help you to not be surprised right. by right. some things. Right. right. Like, what are some things? I know when you first mentioned that, the first thing I thought about putting on a money calendar was um, home association fee. Right. Oh, that's good. Have y'all that thought annual. of anything else? Right. Because I always forget about that. Right. I always forget. What are some other things you can put on there? I mean, even though it happens on your birthday every year, your vehicle registration is something that probably would be good to put there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And because you, you, again, some it can be expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And any, like you said, any holiday, birthdays, mm-hmm. things, if you have friends, mm-hmm. parents, nieces, mm-hmm. nephews, mm-hmm. you know, all of that. It's not just about, oh, it's their birthday, right. but dang. Right. I need to spend some money. Right. right. You right. know, to get ready right. for that. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any type of 
memberships that are like non monthly, like maybe you're a part of some type of social club or anything like that. If you know that dues or membership things are due at a certain time of the year, right? You may want to put that down on your calendar so that you can see it in advance. So you right. want to start preparing yourself. Right. So you that's know, always good. Yeah. Even yeah. with like cable bills, you know, you get that twelve months for a fixed rate. Right. You always yes. want to put that on the calendar so you know when oh that time is coming. That if you don't, right. that is you're so great. Cool. Yes. Go way up. Yes. yes. That's that how I all. ended up with the $175 bill. <laughs> <laughs> Started <laughs> off at $100. <laughs> What's it pay yeah. up? <laughs> and you know, credit cards have those same introductory periods too mm. to yeah. make sure you yeah. have that on your mm. calendar mm-hmm. to say, wait a minute, I need to know when I need to switch. Right. Call right. Or do whatever you need to do. They're, they're banking hoping, on you. Oh, yes. 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 They're That's banking the on you to forget. Comes from. Right. That's the strategy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, like I said, my, my calendar is my life. Yes. yes. You know, so at least if I have the other things that I need to be paying attention to, mm-hmm. um, and, and it works for business too, mm-hmm. not right. just personal. If you yes. have any responsibilities, mm-hmm. if people own properties and maybe it's time for your tenants to renew lease it, mm-hmm. whatever it is, mm-hmm. anything that's money driven, mm-hmm. like yeah. you need the prompt right. so you are ready right. to yeah. deal with it. Right. I agree. So do you think money calendars can help? How can, um, I think a money calendar is a good t- a tool to use when you're budgeting. Right. Right. So do y'all agree with that? Yeah, I think they all go together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's you I think it's a you design the system that works for you. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're actually gonna do is the right thing to do. But mm-hmm. I think it's a piece of budgeting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I don't think it absolutely rep- yeah. it's a tool that can it's assist. It's a tool in it. to help with mm-hmm. it. You know, right. it's not in place of mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But you know, you don't brought up the B word. Like, yeah. You don't like talking about <laughs> yeah. like it's a bad word. <laughs> like the don't, B word. I dun, don't, dun, don't dun, say dun. I know. <laughs> Like it's a bad word, Mm -hmm. but it's stressful for people. You know, Mm -hmm. people think about budgeting, you know, like punishment. Mm -hmm. Right. right. You know, Mm -hmm. like it's restrictive. Like Mm -hmm. I can't be me and do me and Mm -hmm. live my life. But that's that's not what it is. Right. Yeah. It's not. It's It's selling your money where to go. That's how I look at budgeting. It's being intentional. Exactly. 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 So that you control your money. Your money doesn't. Right. That's exactly what it is. Because if without a budget, I know speaking for myself, I will overspend. I will. Oh, it's easy to do. I will easily overspend. Like, it's nothing for me. I can go on a weekend and just drop $200 at some grocery stores. Right. Not even, not even the mall. Listen. You know what I mean? Just because of just doing me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't need to spend that much money. Girl, right. don't I'm let, just please don't it. let me go to BJ. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to spend that much money. Man. I'm like, why did I just spend two hundred dollars and I've got like six bags in the back of my car? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But I had to realize that and then start to give myself a certain amount that I would do on a weekend. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and restrict myself because that's money that I one did not need to be spending. Two could have been put in a place that would be beneficial for me in the right. long run. Mm-hmm. And I'm just spending because I saw it and it's cute right, right. or something like that. And it's on sale. Sale is a trick sometimes, people. Right, right. Oh, it is. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And right. and um and it's just lured me in. But that's something I've had to stop. And I stopped that by budgeting. Budget. Right. Giving mm-hmm. myself a cap. Right. And telling myself you're not spending no more than yeah. this. Just yeah. boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. just some boundaries. Mm-hmm. Brandy, do you budget? I do. Um... Actually, that's how I ended up thinking about the insurance, thinking about the cable bill that I shared earlier, because I was looking like, where is all my money going these days? I just feel like I don't have enough left over for savings. And that's really not me Mm -hmm. normally. So I'm like, but I hadn't looked at my budget. It has been about six months. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing. You need to do it every so often, you know. And it was just time. It was time for me to reevaluate what had changed, Mm -hmm. you know, what I could possibly reduce, what I could get rid of. And that's when I decided I'm going to get rid of L.A. Fitness because I'm not using it. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, never heard her say that she's gone to L.A. Fitness. I rarely go. (laughs) I rarely go. So I'm like, why am I paying this? Right. Right. Because I prefer to work out outside anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, so Mm -hmm. it's just. It's unnecessary. $30. I tell, you, I tell you another way that budgeting has helped me because I created some saving goals for myself. So because I created the, the those goals, I went 
looking in my budget to see where I can help make those goals right. happen. Mm-hmm. So that's some of what happened with my weekend spending, my weekend shopping. Um, I just started to find ways to start setting back so that I could hit that goal. So, you know, if you want to say I want to save five hundred dollars in, I don't know, two or three months. Right. You if you start look at your budget first and see what you what you can actually give up. Right. Like, you know, we were talking the other day about do you have to get your nails done? You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, <laughs> like, like, you, and what was the answer? <laughs> What what was the final response? We were that? like, no. Okay. I think well, we were I, saying- think I'd like to, you know, counteract that. Cause, you know, I'm left-handed and I just could not get that other right. The other Whatever. Hand. <laughs> I love to get my nails done, but I have went a period of months mm-hmm. without getting my without nails getting done. done. Okay. That was a sacrifice I made at right. that point mm-hmm. in life. And I think a lot of things, whenever I think about nails, I always think about Nisha. When Nisha was here with her podcast, people, please go back and look at that. It was a great video. Right. But one of the things that she brought up was that, you know, for nails, sometimes she uses the the press on nails. Right. I mean, that's like seven bucks. Right. Yeah. You know I mean, what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to do that, but. But, but right. they looked great. Yeah. Right. If you're going on an event or something right. like that and you know, shoot. Right. <laughs> Get but you that in some super glue. Like they going <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. It's funny though. I, I'm a little older than <laughs> all of y'all, but it's funny to me to notice how when the trend of nails started, like that was like a high-end luxury thing. Like mm-hmm. people didn't do that. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Like you had to be going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like okay. and now it's become this regular Yeah. Everyday thing. Yeah, I'm going and to it the never grocery started store. That mm-hmm. My nails exactly. need to be done. <laughs> and so it has been normalized. Mm-hmm. Right. And so it has become a thing like food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. gotten on the list. It's, it's become mm-hmm. and your it's budget. Literally, it's literally that your important budget. to people. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But it hasn't always been that way. So we're not talking about like five generations ago. Like right. I remember that. And so when I see, I remember my niece, Janiah, is saying something to me about about going to get our nails done. And I'm like, do you know how old I was when I started getting my nails done? Baby girl, I am not taking you because I'm like, I'm not even training you to do that. Yeah, like, right, do you yeah. know what point in my life I yeah. had to be at before yeah. I could do that? But now you see teenagers in there I all mean, the time. Yeah, yeah. It is teenagers. Kids. I'm talking about kids. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the little kids. They have chairs. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know my um, best friend's daughter, she gets her eyebrows done. She's in high school. That didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So again, all these things have become normalized. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing I have to have. Right. Oh, I don't play with my eyebrows. I have to get those eyebrows done. (laughs) I'm sorry. Trust and believe. It's like food. I just taught myself how to do my own. So Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a YouTube video for that. Yeah. (laughs) There's a YouTube video for everything. Again, it's a matter of priority now. And you just have to be careful about Mm -hmm. the outside influence Mm -hmm. of what has to be on your list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it it is not a necessity, but we society is like you you have to do that. Right. Exactly. Listen, yeah. I know females who are like they have to get their lashes done. Oh no, nah, that's the other thing. That's the thing now. Mm-hmm. I like, have to. What, what's coming after that now? You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> now we get our nail. What's mm-hmm. what's next? I don't know. For, for, for hair, I guess. Got to get your bundles. I mean, people <laughs> don't. <laughs> Got to get your bundles. They don't pay their rent. To buy bundles, yeah. so it's like. Please don't say that. So they don't did, make me this say is it. a true story. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not lying to you right now. But mm-hmm. really, the point is just paying attention. Right. Are mm-hmm. you determining what's important, right. or is something outside right. determining exactly. what's normal, exactly. or what you have to have, or what exactly. you have to spend money right. on? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because what's really important, right. what's really important is financial stability, right. right? And you know, good credit, right. things that outlast much longer than a good beautiful set of nails you know right. what I mean right so now that you know we all look want everything to look good of course you know what I mean but it's just about you know priorities and right. making sure that you're not hurting yourself by trying to keep up with the Joneses didn't we have a video about that too oh yes did we, we have did a have about a, that it was right. a um what was that the Kids' birthday party. Oh, oh that was funny. <laughs> that, was, that, that, was, that was one of my favorites. Please favorite. go and look at that, guys. Yeah, that that was, video was funny. That was a good one. I yeah. think, Janai, what was that? You went to an extravagant birthday party, right? I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm, no, like, literally, the whole time, I couldn't even have fun. I'm like, 
this is, this right. kid can't walk. Right. This kid is one. <laughs> this kid is one. Like really? Yeah. What are we doing here? Yeah. yeah. Why, why are we at uh, right. this high end place? Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. You know right. what I mean? With the DJ with That's all this another, liquor because I'm sure there was liquor. Oh my god. <laughs> so was like, so it wasn't you. a child. It wasn't a kids party. party. Yeah. Yeah. It was an adult like, party. Please help me right now. Yeah. It was a bit much. For right. Me. Yeah. I think that's another one of those things that are being it's becoming normalized. Right. And yeah. the, and feeling the pressure of you got to do all these wonderful oh, yeah. things for mm-hmm. birthday parties. This is, this is my last thing as we're digressing. So I was on the radio <laughs> station yesterday and someone was talking about how they went to a baby shower at the St. Regis. What? So, you know, super high end hotel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like high. Yeah. I'm like, what would you do at a baby? Like, how do you even pull that off? <laughs> I'm like, at the St. Regis? Like, what happened to being at someone's house yes. and eating some cake right. and having some food? Yeah. And opening it's some a party gifts? now. Yeah. It is it a is party. It's a party now. Huge. I'm like, that's a lot. Again, but again, the progression. Yeah. Like, you hear what I'm talking yeah. about? You got to pay attention to the progression yeah. Yeah. and who's setting the so standards. It's probably like in that case, the gifts that you got didn't probably offset what you spent not to possible. have the baby shower. It's not mathematically possible. Yeah. It's not, that wasn't smart. That was the intention is yeah. to shower the baby with gifts to help you get started. Yeah, yeah. You it know, wasn't that's smart. the intention of a shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what it means. And now they have those gender reveal parties too. Oh, it's before huge. Before the baby yeah. shower. Yeah. Uh, again okay, just y'all. keep watching the momentum mm-hmm. it's yeah. just ways for us mm-hmm. to spend money mm-hmm. so we're digressing but all these things yeah. are things that are tapping into your budget that right. aren't really necessary right yeah you know? exactly and my last point is when everyone's talking about budgeting what i do is chris kind of more like you after I take care of everything that I have to take care of, then I can do whatever I want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why my savings, once I've saved, paid my bills, then I'm free to do whatever yeah. I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I just flipped it the other way. Mm-hmm. And so then then yeah. I can do what I want. Yeah. My husband can't sweat me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I've taken care of what we've right. decided on yeah. my commitment. Right. Yeah. right. Work so, hard, play hard. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So whatever that is, saving, paying down debt, long mm-hmm. as I've done everything, mm-hmm. then I'm cool mm-hmm. to get my nails done or whatever's on my mm-hmm. list of what I want right. to do too. Because I don't want people to think I'm like living this life right. and I'm not, listen, I don't play about my eyebrows. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, things I don't play about. You know? Right, right, right. So no, no, no. I got yeah. a few things that yeah. have to happen, but after yeah. everything yeah. else is yeah. done. So yeah. give that some thought, everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. The money calendar is a good tool, but I like to use the app Mint mm-hmm. because I'm always using my phone. Mm-hmm. It's always like, a little detached right now but i use mint and like you can set what how much you want to pay for each bill or like your groceries anything like that and when you're getting close you get a, an alert yeah. you get an alert like hey girl like you spent a lot of money on that mm-hmm. you know fast mm-hmm. food or whatever so you put your budget in there and yeah. it lets you know when you're getting you. close yeah. to the budget yeah. that you because it tracks it. right mm-hmm. okay. and a lot of people nice. are not that comfortable with Mint of course because with Mint you are giving them access to your bank accounts but right. mm-hmm. I mean at this point I think we've all utilized Mint in some kind of way yeah. and I've never really heard of any type of breaches or anything like that so I'm full got access anyway yeah, I don't know yeah. What we yeah. From. exactly no. you know so that's just, what's gonna help you get on track yeah right. that's what you need to do exactly because exactly. some of us need that like accountability what you doing yeah. right mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. stop it yeah that's mm-hmm. what that means oh, another yeah I, another thing they do which I mean they're not the only ones but I like how they remind you when certain bills are due right. yeah. you know that's a good little thing yep. that that's a good prompt yeah yep. and I guess the point is whatever tool you're going to use yes. is what's right yes. right yeah, that's mm-hmm. really right. important know thyself you and know what you need to be successful and I want to add another little tidbit too because I do the same thing that you two do mm-hmm. I pay the bills I put a certain amount in my savings and what I have left I spend but what I'll notice with some people is when you spend that and you have this other thing you want to do now it's oh I have to go withdraw from my savings yeah. Yeah. Right. no not it doesn't not. work like that <laughs> no. <laughs> no. do not withdraw from if it's not an emergency right. yeah. And, yeah. you don't and please clearly define emergency <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your no. car is broke down on the side of the right. road right. Yeah. you right. Not, right. Yeah. know what an emergency really is yeah, yeah. yeah. not yeah. a sale yeah, yeah. 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 Not like oh my god there's yeah. tw- my fr- two for twenty on camera exactly <laughs> because <laughs> friends came in town I need to hang out right no because listen my friends laugh at me because they know that I'm good with budgeting and I will say oh no I can't do that I'm broke right now 
and they're like, Brandy, right. you're not broke. <laughs> of course I'm not broke, because when I always have money in my savings. Yeah, but what yeah. I'm saying is, I have spent what I have left out yeah. of this paycheck, yeah. and I'm not dipping in my savings. Yeah. So I'm broke yeah. until yeah. this this next yeah. payday. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and if you have to put your savings in a bank that is small, something that doesn't have a thousand ATMs around, something that, you you know, make it hard for yourself. Right? Yeah. That's one thing I had to do when I first started out. I had to go to a small bank that I couldn't easily access mm-hmm, right. where I had to literally get in my car and drive over there to That's get some me. money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that kept me from being impulsive. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That made I don't even it. have a debit card. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Do what you got to do to win. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great advice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope people have learned something yeah. today at this mm-hmm. Never Broke yeah. Nation podcast. Mm-hmm. I have. Yes. That's yeah. the goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been great. It's been great. So <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Chris, tell them how they can find us and follow us and all that. Sure. You can follow us at Never Broke Nation on Facebook and Instagram. And how should tell them how to follow you? Oh, you can follow me at Janai Thornton, J I N I T H O R N T O N. And thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks, thank everybody. you. See y'all next episode.